I swear to my everybody's went home for the most part for early Friday evening. And we're gonna try to square these uh Zach's to square them up. We're doing the eights and tens, we're on the short right now. And uh, I'm having a heck of a time it, but I'm nervous. But uh, but it's it's going good. It's going good. Uh but you gotta make your upgrades and try to do better you know, the edger to try to keep it up in face material and uh I'm right on the Nats butt to get it. But uh, it's going pretty good. And uh, can we come in Saturday and did a long, which I'll have that on the next video. And we're trying to finish up the, uh, we're trying to finish up the uh, next loose ends because we're getting ready to get charged up and get back to logging next week. And here's Rick and Ball in here. He's a hammering on a circle saw that got, uh, got, uh, you know, uh, tweaked up. Yeah, I was doing like, Making a big deal out of sawing walnut, so I figured we'd see what a walnut saw looks like. Probably something special too. Mm -hmm. no. So you gotta have lines on a walnut saw. Mm -hmm. Vertical ridges. Vertical ridges, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's because they wrecked it. Electric? They wrecked it. Oh! Yeah. Wrecked them hell, it's them. They wrecked it. Killed them both. Oh. I wonder if you can smell dog shit, which is on my foot. Oh. Spokes on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about that taper? I guess he'll rod. pressure you're hitting with and everything's part of the technique ain't it? as far as the yeah, on your hammer I have a shaker right in there you reshape it yeah I think a grinder will smooth it out you get used to what you like that's what I thought huh. well, I'll go edge if I can catch back up so here is a, uh, this is five inches wide by seven feet long on this walnut. And this is the minimum requirements for uh, FAS. And uh, that board is almost uh, a $9, it's a $9 board basically. 
All right, Stevie Poopy Pants is going down on a road trip this weekend to try out his little stomper. Big Red. Stevie. Uh, Bill Bill Stevie, did you say it floated? The front end does. The front end floats, but the back won't. Uh, yeah, it, it didn't float the other day when I pulled it out. But remember that Bill Bill pipe I made? Yeah. I took it off and actually put a four-wheeler pipe on it. I was getting too much water in my exhaust. Okay. And I didn't have a way for it to get out, so I'm hoping that that there's gonna keep the water out. So there's it. So that's when you're underwater, Stevie. You gotta reach your head above water to see where you're going. Yeah. So it's like a what a stereoscope or whatever on a submarine. And here's your See you'd be like a submariner. There's that power block you helped me with. Submariner. Huh. Does it actually work? Did you check your leaks in the frame? Yeah, they're good. The intake, okay. Yep. The only place I was getting a leak was that black boot. It goes from the head oh, to the yeah. carb. Yeah. I didn't seal a cone that. So I pulled all that off last weekend and seal a cone. So you're ready for off-roading. With his little... See if you turn your light buds on. You can't see them real good here, but... Well, I ain't got the key in it. I ain't oh, got yeah. You stole it. It yeah. ain't yours. So he stopped, and Stevie stole somebody's three-wheeler. shining down on the motor on that side one on this side and it is cool in the dark it does glow pretty good it looks like a fireball <laughs> that is pretty cool then i got these two individually <laughs> and that, that narrows by itself well that is bright stevie i have to give you that nylight nylight yeah so it's a nylight did you do your commercial on it and stuff no you're supposed to do a commercial on it wouldn't you yeah <laughs> So now it's gonna be up at the mud ball, repoing their light. <laughs> All right, so here's what's up. We're gonna to try to, uh, the last item of business before everybody goes their separate ways for the weekend. Uh, we're gonna straighten this bar out for the Din Din that uh, I think I actually tweaked it. I actually, we got that steep ground and <clears throat> I got all fired up and went down there and it was a brand new bar basically. Every time I bend one, it's gonna be a new one. The old bar that's followed out that lasts forever, uh, lasts me forever. But when I put a new bar on there, well, Stevie puts some new ones on. I don't put new ones on because they're too expensive. I just don't like to use new ones. But every time I put a new one on, it seems like I uh, twerk it. So this bar is twerked, and we're going to untwerk it and uh, try to use it uh, maybe next week on the uh, Den Denomatic Monday or Tuesday. everybody thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to hit the buttons and leave me like comments stuff let me know what's up uh, uh, and to anybody's wanting logger weight gear go to loggerweight.com and uh, help yourself as a shop there and uh, we got all that good mess take care of it and uh, mostly just want to say thanks everybody hope everybody has a good one later on